This is Justin Orndorff of Baseball Rebellion, and what I wanted to show here is how to really scale your pitch and delivery and create energy through your body to create your velocity, not necessarily rely on just pure arm speed to do it for you. So what you're looking at here is a video or part of a video series that we did at the old Durham Bull Stadium to kind of showcase our methodology. I'm standing on the mound, kind of dressed up as a as an old school baseball player. But one thing that I saw very interesting in this clip, if you can see here, we have the radar gun in front of you. I'm on the mound. And what we're going to take note of is just really the, the outfield fence, okay? And see the yellow piping or the capping there on the outfield fence. And what we're going to do is here is this is me warming up and preparing to go through the movement and really throw hard. And so there's four pitches here in sequence, and I want to show you the relative difference here. So what I'm going to think about doing here is as I move into my throw from this point, and I'll show you a different view in a moment, but you're going to just look at the energy that I create into my lift. And then as I come out of the lift, take notice of the height of the foot. Okay, so you can see how the foot is. Um, there's a clear difference between the yellow capping and where my foot is. And as we go into the throw here, you're going to see that the velocity produced on this particular throw was 93.3, okay? And what you're going to see is if I want to go about throwing the ball harder, I want to start moving my body with increased energy into the throw. And then everything else as a product of that just becomes faster. So here on the second clip, what you're going to see is I move up. My foot there is a little bit closer to the capping. And as I go and I finish this one, I'm a little bit slower at 92.7, okay? So they call out the velocities while I'm doing this so I kind of know. So I threw 93.3 on the first clip. I got a little anxious on the second one, so I didn't quite let that lift and that kick build as much as I can. But here on the third one, I now know what I need to do, so I make the adjustment, and you can clearly see the difference in the foot on this one. So there I make the adjustment. I come in here to with the throw, and there's a 93.5. So they call that out. There is 93.5. And so on the last one, I say, okay, I definitely know what I need to do now. I felt the energy get increased. I know that the result is going to be there for me. So I can kind of increase to my, my maximum ability was to increase energy up into my lift to throw it hard. And really, after I do this energy up into the lift, the rest kind of takes care of itself. I just want to keep moving into the target. So here you go into the last one, and you can clearly see my foot at its highest point. You can see the, the yellow capping, where the foot placement is, and this allows me to really gain an increased energy into the throw, and there is my max fastball of 94.3, okay? And I'm going to show you this separate view here where you can see just kind of a little bit of a three-quarter angle, but what you can see is as I build my energy back, okay, I'm now going forward and then that lower body movement of my left leg coming up into the lift with increased energy allows everything else to move and then go into the throw with that max velocity. So one of the things that we always do when we test guys is when they come in for their evaluation, we always give them a scenario where we want them to throw hard. And we observe if they change their body's movements to do that. And about 90 to 95% of them do not the motion stays very similar, and they try to increase the velo with just their arm very late. Remember, if you increase energy early, the acceleration of the arm will already be increased, and then it's just a byproduct of the movement to where you get your result of velocity, okay? But you'll see very, very few young pitchers are just told to keep it simple, very short steps, very smaller knee lifts, no kicks, and what they're missing the point of is if you start to learn how to do this early, by the time that you really master it, you'll really be getting to your velocity potential uh, in terms of your fastball gains. This is Justin Orno for Baseball Rebellion, and we're talking about how to scale your pitching delivery and create energy to create velocity. Thank you.